Welcome students, here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video, we will learn about another assumption of OLS that is the disturbance or error term are normally distributed. When we are talking about uh, the error term or disturbance term are normally distributed, this means that the sum of error when we have a series of error term and sum of this series is equal to zero. We say that the mean value of error is zero. And the variance of error is constant. When we are talking about the variance of error is constant, this means when we are taking the variance of whole series or variance of any two or three or four observation, the variance of whole series is equal to the variance of or two or three or whatever the observation the variance you are going to find. Okay, let's discuss uh, the detail of the disturbance term or normally distributed. So before going to detail, let's discuss about what is normally normal distribution or normally distribution. Okay, the normal distribution is a continued probability distribution that is symmetrical on both side of the mean. So the right side of the center is mirror image of the left side or the left side is the mirror image of the right side. The area under the normal distribution curve represent probability and the total area the curve sums to 1. Most of the continued data value in a normal distribution tends to cluster around the mean and the further a value is from the mean, the less likely it is, occur, it is to occur. The, the tails are symptotic which means that they approaches but never quite meet the horizontal, you can say the x-axis. Okay, for a perfectly normal distribution, the mean, median and mod will be the same value, visually represented by the peak of the curve. Let's see, here we have a graphical representation. That's, let's see, uh, see, uh, the normal distribution curve shows a bell shape. When we have a uh, error term graph in the form of bell shape, here, we have mean, median, mod is equal to each other. And this part, from this to this whole part, is called the symmetrical side. That we are saying here, uh, the right side, right side is the mirror image of the left side, and the left side is the mirror image of the right side. And these, this type, this part and this part are the symptotic tail of the normal distribution. Like we are saying that they, uh, uh, they approaches to x-axis. This is our x-axis. They approaches to x-axis, but they not meet to x-axis. Okay, this is the normal distribution curve. If our error term series uh, graphical representation is look like this, then we can say that our error term is normal distribution normal distribution or normally distributed okay let discuss the assumption uh, of uh, normally distributed or normal distribution in detail that the normal distribution assumption is required we can say that error is normally distributed with mean zero and variance constant is required to order in order to conduct a single or giant hypothesis testing about the med model parameters if we have to test our, our individual parameter or the parameters that a whole, we have to say that any of the series, either we are here we are talking about the error term, any of the series, we can check the any of the series uh, of, uh, of our selected variable uh, is normally distributed or not. If they uh, if our independent or dependent variable shows a, gra uh, a graph like bell shape, then we can say that our series is normally distributed. But here we are talking about the 
error term specifically. Okay, testing for the departure from the normality. Okay, the uh, the Bera Jarka. Sometimes we read it as Jarka Bera, and here we are reading uh, following the Brooks uh, book. So that's why Brooks is mentioning that the Bera Jarka normality as test is used to test the normality for error term. A normal distribution is not secured and is defined to have a coefficient of kurtosis of 3. When we have a normal distribution curve, the kurtosis value is equal to 3. The kurtosis of the normal distribution is 3, so it accesses kurtosis beta 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. Secureness and kurtosis are third and fourth movement of the distribution. Okay, dear students, keep in mind that uh, skewness, kurtosis, and uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, third movement and fourth movement are discussed in a separate video. So you can find uh, the skewness formulation and kurtosis formulation in separate video. Okay, normal versus secure distribution. When we have a normal distribution, we have already explained that when our graphical presentation is showing a bell shape, then we can say that our series is normal distributed. Yeah, our series is normal distribution. And if our series is showing right side or left side, greater than one another then this is known as skewed series like see if uh, our right side if our graph look like this sorry see if our graph has larger tail on right side we can say this is a positive skew and if our graph has larger tail on this side we can say that is a negative skew so if our data shows a bell shape curve then we can say that this is a normal distribution okay leptocritic versus normal distribution okay see when we are talking about the leptocritic then we have a sharp rise and sharp decline in the curve see we have a sharp rise this black line shows a leptocritic graphical presentation so see there is a sharp rise and sharp decline and when we have a normal rise and normal decline this is known as normal distribution curve sometimes we have a very low type of graphical present presentation that is a plateau critic versus normal distribution Okay, testing for the normality. Bara and Jarka formalize this by testing the residual for normality by testing whether the coefficient of skewness and the coefficient of excess kurtosis are jointly zero. It can be pro proved that the coefficient of skewness and kurtosis can be expressed respectively. This is the formula for the skewness and this is the formula for the kurtosis the formulation or derivation of uh, these formulas are given in a separate video you can search uh, the, the derivation of the skewness and derivation of the kurtosis formula you find these videos okay with the help of uh, skewness and kurtosis we construct the formula for the Bara and Jarka 
test statistic given as W is equal to T into beta 1 square divided by 6 plus beta 2 minus 3 whole square divided by 24 so on chi square into 2. Okay, we estimate beta 1 and beta 2 using the residuals from the OLS regression line. The null hypothesis is of the normality and this would be reject if the residual from the model were either significantly skewed, leptocritic or platocritic. So, we cannot we reject the null hypothesis of normality if our data showing a, me, a equal mean median mod but if our data have a positive skewed, negative skewed or leptocritic or platocritic then we cannot uh, we reject uh, the uh, null hypothesis of nor normal distribution. Okay, what do we do if we find evidence of non-normality? So, here is the main question that if uh, if we found that our error term or somehow our data is not normally distributed, so what can we do? It is not obvious that we should do could use a method we uh, there are some alternative methods uh, when we uh, we do not have a normally distributed data but uh, uh, but we uh, but it is difficult to find and uh, we have to uh, f uh, know the properties of these methodologies or methods if we are using the non normal uh, non normality of the data of course the case that one or two extreme residual causes us to reject the normality assumption. Sometimes we have a very uh, high data or very low, uh, some observations are very high and some a few observations are very low. So these higher low observation create the uh, non-normality issue in our residual or in our any type of uh, variables data. So far, uh, for the non-normality uh, normality condition, you have to follow uh, two methods that is structure break method and an alternative method is that you can use the dummy variable uh, method when you have a non-normality issue in your data. Okay, we are uh, interested in a monthly uh, model of estimated return from 1980 to 1990 and we plot the residual and find that particular large value or large outlier for October 1980. Let's see in a graphical presentation that we have a error term and we draw uh, the graphical presentation of error term with respect to time and we found that in October 1987 have a very high value and this very high value, this particular very high value create the issue of non-normality in the data. So we have discussed that first method is we can use the structure break method. Structure break method uh, here you have to set part this data into two part uh, before the October 1987 and after the October 1987 and you run two regressions and with the uh, with with the comparison of two regressions, you can say that after uh, after uh, October 1987, what is the condition of the parameters, and of before the October 1987, what is the condition of the parameters? But the other alternative method, you can use the dummy variable. You have to create a new variable. Let's see, you are creating a dummy variable is equal to one, and during October 1980. 7 and 0 otherwise. You are using a dummy uh, October 1987. So, accept uh, October 1987, all are the observation become 0. And you can find find the uh, extent or effect of uh, this outlier particular. And uh, 
the detailed discussion of the dummy variable how can we generate a dummy variable what are the kinds of the dummy variable what are the uses of the dummy variable and what is the theory and logic behind uh, creating our uh, creating a dummy variable uh, all are discussed in a separate video so you are uh, uh, getting the true information about the dummy variable in a separate video okay but keep it in mind here but in uh, keep it in mind this effectively knocks out the uh, the outlier observation which is creating the non-normality non issue in in your data but you have to keep it in mind mind that uh, uh, in creating any type of the dummy variable there must be a theoretical reasoning so without theoretical reasoning you cannot generate any dummy variable so as i told you that dummy variable have been discussed in a separate video so this is all about our assumption of uh, ols that is particularly related to um, when error term is normally distributed with mean zero and variance constant okay see you with another video ciao